congratulations on thank that you one. thank the you two interceptions and the worm by the way yeah yeah i've been practicing that for you. you also had like seven tackles two assists two plays defended it was a monster right for you. yeah uh first of all glory to jesus my lord and savior and i'm just grateful uh, to be out here and doing things i see this bigger than me it's all for god and all for my people back home and the people we help with the foundation bringing football to the philippines for helping typhoon victims even even here in the states um, really pop people that are victims of poverty anytime we can help um, this so this is bigger than me and that's really why I'm out there you have the decal tonight right yes every every year every time I have an opportunity to put the flag on I gotta I gotta show out so last year I was able to get that uh, the pick against the Jets for the my cause my cleats first week with the sticker on the Philippines flag sticker um, on my helmet so I'm just glad to be able to represent people and like I said do do things that are bigger than just for my own personal gain feeling right after that second pick? Um, it didn't feel real. Uh, honestly thought I got an um, illegal contact downfield. I kind of hit the receiver a little, but um, I jumped a little early like the, the play against um, the Chiefs, and I thought I, I, I didn't know if I was going to get up there, but thankfully I was able to get the pick and really shut it, shut it down for the whole game and um, really make it a movie. I keep saying movie, but that's the best ending, and it, you, can't, you can't imagine it. I'm just so grateful, and it was a fun game. Kim, after the, the punt, obviously defense knew that you had to take it on your shoulders. What was said? Did it need to be said? What, what was going on? Uh, no worries needed to be said. Everybody understood exactly what we had to do. Uh, we had a solid game defensively, but it, nothing matters unless you can show up in the clutch. So um, it, was the, it was the eye contact, just looking around the bench, and everybody's locked in, ready to go, but having fun. Nobody's tight. Nobody's um, nervous or anything. Everybody's ready to go out there. And anytime we face adversity, we're excited to go back out there. Cam, if I can ask you about the offense, actually, guys have been mm -hmm. talking, you know, all along that it sucks to have JJ out, but yeah. you have the, the guys in here to step up. Mm -hmm. What was it like just to see those guys making plays tonight? You had Brandon in there, Trevor, yeah. and obviously Jordan. Um, it's exciting seeing um, people step up when um, they get their shot, and but at the end of the day, we expect it out of all of them. We know we've been going against them in training camp, and all year and we know that what type of players we have on this team so even if JJ's out we know that every single person on that offense is capable to do the things that they need to do to help us win the game so it was really exciting to see all of them get their fair share of plays and every single one of them on the offense ball so I couldn't be more grateful especially against a defense like that and we have to carry that momentum into next week. Showing what this team is made of especially after that interception at the beginning of the mm -hmm. game for you guys to buckle down and then to pull it off on national television what does that mean for this team? Um, it's a movie. Um, obviously, the season, our season isn't going um, as well as we would like it to, but nothing better than bouncing back from adversity and stacking wins up and now going into next week, it's the same thing, same process. So us being able to really respond, that's been the word of the week with our coaches. Whenever we face adversity, we have to respond. So um, with that early turnover, we were able to turn the ball back over, and that's complimentary football. So that's really the message of this whole whole season. We got to respond to the losses. We got to respond to every negative play and just continue to do our thing. What about the game plan allows you to limit the run your offense 17 days? Um, there's nothing really different about the game plan. It was really just having a great week of practice and really playing loose as a defense, knowing that it's the really the message before was just just go out there and play. Don't don't sit and watch. Don't think. Don't don't be just sitting back thinking and watching. Just see and do. And really if you mess up somebody else will um, cover you and really the knowing that we have 11 guys on that field if somebody messes up you got 10 other people ready to help you out and have your back and we're always going to be the underdog it doesn't really matter especially the hole we put ourselves in um, in the beginning of the season so far but none of that none of that noise affects us we keep our head on straight and we just know okay day by day get better and better Um, I don't know. It's kind of a, I got to go watch the film. I don't, the ball just happened to be there. And it's funny, that same exact um, type of ball, low ball, I dropped in practice and they were on my head about it. And um, so it felt good to catch that ball and really be able to bounce back from my mistake in practice and only make that mistake once. With the forced fumble, um, you and, and Harry there on that, mm -hmm. did you have a vantage point then of Dean picking it up or, or sort of what? It was, it was a mess. Um, I hit him, and I felt—I don't know if I forced the fumble. I don't know if I got. Okay, so yeah, he got it. 
So uh, I just saw the ball come out, and it's, it was a big mess. Everybody jumping on top of each other. I'm just trying to just throw my arms around, slow some 49ers down, trying to recover it. But uh, I was just glad we picked it up because earlier in the season we get a uh, forced fumble. ball didn't bounce away, but today it did. Can you talk about playing loose and the celebrations? You guys did the limbo. Yeah. You had the duck, duck, gray duck. I mean, you guys are pulling out all the stuff. Yeah, we. Um, that's one thing we we corrected and we made sure that we do moving forward from uh, last week. For, we realized we weren't having as much fun as we should have. And we noticed last year we had all these celebrations planned and we were getting turnovers. So us planning stuff before and making sure if we make a play, we got to have fun with it. So really that sets the mindset. Of, Let's make plays so we can have fun. This this is exactly what I envision. You know, every time they the ball came my way, I'm just making sure I'm making a play for Kirk. Oh, he played amazing. Every ball was there. The line did great. No sacks. Defense stepped up when we needed him. It was just a great team win. Maybe had a third touchdown on that pass interference, the fade ball in the end zone. Yeah, I, I, maybe, maybe, but you know. Whatever happened, have the next play. Jordan, is it fair to call you fearless up the middle? You seem to have no fear in your eye when he's cursed going to throw you in the middle. You know, he doesn't even have to throw you open. You're just there. You know, that's what they brought me here for, you know. And I, I've been playing this game for a while. I know how to take hits in certain ways. But, yeah, I don't, I don't play this game with no fear. Can you take us through that first touchdown? First touchdown, yep, down the middle. I had a linebacker on me, and then as soon as I turned around, the ball was there, and I just gave late hands. Like, when a linebacker covered me, that's like a fish out of water, so he don't really know what's going on. How different were some of those emotions that they were using you on tonight, maybe compared to these games? What's that? Emotions. It looked like they were coming fast motion. I yeah. I don't know if that was new or different. Um, just to, that's really just to get see what the defense doing, a man of zone tell. So it's not really nothing to, you know. Was this just to stack another win on to another win? Too? Oh, this is real big. You know, we kept saying all all season long, or the first half of the season, like we got it's a 17 game season. Well, let's go one and no next week. Next, let's go one and no. Let's just keep going one and no, and it just feels good to get our first one at home. What's your thoughts on the end of that Hawkeyes Gophers game? I don't know if I can comment on it. it was, that was a tough one. That was a tough one for sure. I've never seen that. TJ, we jumped in late, but um, obviously a great showing, 11 receptions by you, just how Jordan was, the defense outstanding on this national stage. How do you feel right now to know that you could do it and then you did do it? Just incredible. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, there's belief in this locker room. There's been belief in this building. And then um, to be able to go show it on Monday Night Football, there's nothing better. Yeah, I'm all right. I'll be fine. No worries. Um, yeah, I took a few shots, um, but you know we'll, we got a we got a short week, kind of. But um, you know they'll they'll take care of us and, and we'll get back right. Thank you. Thanks, sure. Christian, just the way you're moving the ball, not only um, Madison, but then you get Acres that came in strong. Kirk over 300 yards. I mean, just an impressive showing by you guys up front. Uh, yeah, it definitely was. Um, we trusted the game plan, and uh, it starts with our preparation during the week, and we had great preparation, and we sold it out down the field today. And especially when you move the ball around, right, because you got it to TJ and, mm -hmm. of course, to Addison. Yep. How is it, you know, you're up front, but to see that it's multiple guys getting right. it? Uh, yeah, we know we got a, a special room of uh, skill guys, and we know if we just give Kirk the time, uh, them dudes are going to get open, and Kirk's going to find them, and big, big things are going to happen. Obviously protected Kirk really well tonight. Mm -hmm. I think there was maybe one play where he did get a lot yep. of pressure and was able to get out. Yep. What can you just say about Kirk's composure on those plays? He does get a little heat. Oh man, um, we know we got we got a great quarterback back there, and we know we just got to give him a little bit of time to make that play. But but when the pressure does get on him, he doesn't back off. He doesn't fold, flinch, and he's gonna make a play. What can you say about the defense? Obviously, Cam with the two picks, but just coming through for you guys tonight. Yeah, uh, it was a complete game. Um, like I mentioned earlier, all, all three phases, special teams, offense, defense. Um, it was great to go get that dub against a, a team like this. And, yeah, we got to enjoy it. I want to bring it back. Yeah, and to have fun with it, right? For so, all the celebrations. For so, 24 hours. Tired. For so, for so, 24 hours, and we're on to the next one. Awesome. Thank no you. When I wake up at 6 a.m. and train, that I thought, you know, it was was January my fourth year with the Denver Broncos against the Chiefs, the last game of football I'll ever play. So I think that's why I had the emotions tonight. And no better place uh, than to do it here at US Bank Stadium with the the, the skull chant and the horn and um, the win on Monday Night Football against a team like that. So um, 
I feel so connected in this locker room to these guys. And like I said, the love that people showed me, man, like it brought me to tears after the game. Plus they were playing Creed, which got my emotions. It got my emotions going. It was a perfect storm, but very happy, man. Do you guys have to stick with Creed now? I think we have to. We're 2-0 and with them, right? But we just, let's just not talk about it. Let's just keep it low-key. You know what I mean? We keep it low-key, and then it comes on, and gets me emotional. I'm going to put it on the way home, too. You said a couple times this week that you, guys, you already like, love all these guys. What, what is it about this locker room? Well, I mean, I said earlier in the week, too, this isn't a 2-4 and four football team. I mean, for four years, I've been a part of, you know, team, a team that we didn't have success. And there's something different about this place. It starts with the top down and O'Connell and the way that this team is ran and the locker room and how we block out the noise and how we go to work at practice and um, this team knows how to celebrate too man like there's just so many things that are different about here and I'm not an old season vet that's been on 10 different teams this is my second NFL team I've been on but um, I just know we're not a two and four football team and we don't improve that tonight against one of the better top five teams in the NFL I think. Well, not only did you protect Kurt, and he went to like 378 yards, you also spread the ball around. So it wasn't, you know, whether it was the running game, you're making holes and seeing mm-hmm. Addison and Akers. How does it feel to be able to do that on all assets on on offense there? It feels so good. I mean, in my, in my uh, tenure in the NFL, I've never, I mean, we were pass blocking our butts off, but I've never like pass blocked like that and then just kept looking up and seeing balls completed and touchdowns and throws. And I was just like, this is, I could get used to this, man. This is awesome. Um, just so many playmakers. And like I said, just being in that huddle, I always remember last week um, in my f- whole time in the NFL, I had never like come off the bench because I was starting in Denver. Um, last week was my first time coming off the bench and getting in a game. And I got in the game and the whole huddle, I'm looking at Kurt. This is my first time blocking for Kirk Cousins and Madison and Akers. And I got, I'm in the huddle with O'Neal and Christian Dara, so all these guys. And Madison looks right at me. He's like, welcome to the party, bro. And I'm just like, oh, man, this is, I love this party. Let's go. So it was, it was fun tonight. I loved everything about it. It was the perfect night, Monday night football, big win. Um, now let's go get our second one in the north. And you see a guy like Addison absolutely fearless up the middle as well, but just yeah. playing have a great game. Like, those guys will just do anything that, that they're asked to do. Those guys will put their bodies on the line, him and Akers both. Um, it's just so fun. It's so fun to block for those guys. You know they're going to put their heads down and make it happen. And as an offensive lineman, you're like, hey, let me do my job. And you know these guys behind you are going to do theirs. Dalton, what can you say about um, Jordan, especially after getting that ball taken away oh my gosh. earlier on? Um, especially as a rookie, just keeping the mindset to then turn the tables later on. That dude's a stud, man. I don't know if he's still over here, but I need to go tell him that. Like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that dude's a rookie. Like, that play before half where he just took that ball and ran it. Man, if you guys rewatched the tape, my 320-pound body was sprinting as hard as I could. <laughs> I wanted to celebrate with him, but he kept running away. I was like, gosh, dang it, man. And that's my dog. I think it was like the third quarter. It was third and long. I was spitting slobber, and I drew all over my face mask, and Jordan comes over and cleans up my whole face mask for me. Oh, that's my guy. So I like him. I appreciate it. How about defense, too? Cam, of course, two picks, but and they're having fun, too, right, whether it's the limbo, whether it's the worm. Yeah, I mean, they, they, we put them in some tough spots in terms of to start the game. I mean, they go out and they get a fumble. We get the ball back, and we capitalize off of it after the first turnover. Um, and then when we needed it, and we needed a pick in the fourth quarter, we got two, like, in crunch time. You know, we got a couple first downs, got them to use their timeouts, two-minute warning. Got the, they got the ball back with a minute and ten, and then we come up with another interception to close the deal. Um, defense came up huge. That was a team effort. In all three phases, we did a great job, and that's what it takes to win in this league, and we got to appreciate it. And I'm going to enjoy it tonight and a lot tomorrow, and then I probably need to turn over to tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, get ready for the North. Oh, no, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity, you know, that I'm grateful to go out and show that I, I can close the game, obviously, uh, but we won, so uh, that really didn't, wasn't big, but I'm grateful for that opportunity. You know. What sort of statement was made tonight? A uh, statement that we see, that we are who we say we are, um, and that we here. like, uh, you know, we playing football every weekend and week out, we don't care who we playing, we don't care. Uh, Thursday night, Monday night, Sunday night, we're coming out to win, so uh, and we're preparing to win. So uh, I think that was the biggest statement to ourselves. The statement was to ourselves, you know, uh, we are who we say we are. What can you say just about the offensive line today and um, how they, you know, open things up, how they protected Kirk against the, the defense that's talked a lot about? Uh, I can say a lot, but uh, those guys dominated. They've been dominating week in and week out, uh, pass game, run game, screen, whatever you want to. They've been dominating week in and week out. And uh, tonight was. A continuation of that. Uh, I don't know. Those guys balling.
And the other cam on the other side, right? Two picks, defense just kind of helping you guys out too, huh? Yeah, it, like I told, like I told, I think I told somebody it was a full team effort, like uh, from defense to offense to special teams, everybody did their job. So uh, I think that's what made the win so easy and so fluent. You know, everybody was doing their job and. Uh, we came out victorious. When you see a guy like Addison, who's just fearless up the middle, that can just take the ball and run, how, how is that to see that? Uh, it's great. We talked before the game. I was telling him, like, I need two out of you tonight, and he got two. You know what I mean? So he balled tonight. He did. We stepped up when we needed him. Uh, he, he was who he is, you know, who he's been his whole career from college to now that he balled. You know, last year they had P2 making predictions. Maybe you can be the predictor on the team this year, keep doing right that? Multi-tag. <laughs> Multi-tag. How does it obviously feel to do what you guys say you're going to do on the national scale and to prove who you are? Uh, it's big. Like I said, it was a statement to us, you know what I mean? Um, on the national scale, Monday Night Football, everybody watching, uh, what better time to go out and put it all together on full display other than the turnover. Um, but other than that, we played a complete game from every aspect. So, you know, we want to keep stacking blocks. You mentioned the turnover, but Jordan obviously, you know, didn't let that get to him and really yeah. turned the tables on that 60 yard. Yeah, he got it back. The same type of play, same type of um, situation. He got it back and took it to the house. So, you know, he made up for it, didn't let it get to his head. Came, with, went out the game with cramps, uh, came back in and made big plays still. So um, he balls tonight. So he's talking about the song Higher, right, and the celebrations, kind of like it all feeds off each other, the positivity. Yeah. What do you say about that? Uh... I agree. I agree. Uh, the song helped us, uh, but it helped them. I don't know. It didn't help me, but uh, you have fun out there, right? It kind of is like contagious. It is. It is. You gotta have fun to go out and uh, be at your best. I think you gotta have fun. It can't be all business, all work. You know, you gotta relax and go cut it loose. That's what KL preached to us all week. You know, just go, go. You know, that was the biggest word, go, cut it loose, you know, and um, we did. What I loved about your game is what we already know about you. Not only can you run it north and south up the middle, but also showing you can catch out of the backfield and be yeah. dependent on. How was that to actually prove all assets of your own game tonight? Uh, it was great. It was great. I haven't had that opportunity in a while, but I'm grateful for it, you know, um, and I'm grateful um, these O-line moving people. Uh, I'm great, thankful for the coaches for giving me the opportunity. Uh, now I just got to keep doing it. Do it again, you know, do it next week. Do it th in practice this week. Uh, just keep doing it. Stack blocks. Game in a row, defense huge. I mean, not only Cam, all of you guys, especially after that first turnover by the offense, you settled right down and got it right back. How does it feel to like, kind of take command that way? So what's been the point of emphasis um, since early on in the season, right? It's been turnovers. It's been responding. Um, you know, it's... it's uh, it's the type of defense and the type of team game that we want to play. Um, offense has our back. We have the offense back, and uh, we make plays when we're out there. So we're inching our way back in the turnover differential, and, uh, you know, that's obviously that's obviously a huge part of it. When you see that the offense has to punt, there's too much time left on the clock. Nothing has to be said. You guys knew it had to be done. What was it like for you guys as you took the field right there? That's what we take pride in. We, we, we talk about it, um, who we're going to be, being the closers on the defense. Um, and that's, you know, we want we want the game in our hands. That's the mindset. And Kim was talking about we also wanted to have fun, right? So, like, whether it was a limbo, the worm, yeah. duck, duck, gray duck, and feeding into that. How important is that to have fun and then have the good game on top of it? That's what it's, that's what it's about. I think uh, last week we put a point of emphasis on celebrations because mm -hmm. we wanted to have, you know, that, that thing that we have, um, the camaraderie, the enjoyment, the fun, the smiles after we make a play like that and bringing everybody together and getting the energy up. And so, um, you know, I, I call it, you know, what it is. In the past two weeks, we've gotten more turnovers than we've gotten in the first, what, four or five. So uh, I don't know if that's playing into it or not, but it feels good. Some people say, listen, Monday Night Football can be overblown, but the fact of the matter is they're the Niners and you guys came and you beat them. How can this help you guys going forward, obviously? Yeah, it, it can propel us, but at the end of the day, we have to look at look at it for what it is. Um, you know, you treat wins and losses the same. You go back, you be honest with yourself, and you uh, you learn from, from the mistakes. There's a lot to be uh, to build upon from this game. And so um, we understand we got to keep a chip on our shoulder, and we got to keep moving forward. Are you showing the nation what you guys do have yeah, here? Absolutely. I think I think it shows that who we can be, um, the type of type of team that we can be. Um, and how dangerous we are, right, if we do play that game.